Hey everybody, it's Rebecca and it's Thursday. So I do have a video for you. It is an instructional video. So this is for if you are new to diamond painting, this will be how to kit up a diamond painting. It is also a combination of kitting up and part two of Victoria's Moon. So come with me on this journey. If you're new, I'll teach you how to kit up a a diamond painting. If you're not new, come with me anyway. And if you have suggestions, drop them in the comments for people that are beginners. I don't mind. We can all help other people and it'll be a great ride. So let's go. So this is sort of a combination video. It is um, part two of Victoria's Moon, and it is also how to kit up a diamond painting. So Victoria's Moon, I unboxed on Tuesday. Uh, I will be putting, it's still Tuesday. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've got the same dress on. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to put this up on Thursday. Because by the time you see this, yesterday will have been my uh, live where I did some crochet. I'm using my microphone today because the sound was really awful when I did the original unboxing on Tuesday. Sorry, I'm taking a drink. I will tell you that since uh, I unboxed this, which was really a very short time ago, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes ago, uh, I've been doing some editing. Um, the canvas has relaxed. So I don't, I, I do not feel like I'm going to need to iron it. I think it's going to be just fine. Um, what I've done is I took that one strip off and I cut it up and sort of just kind of, it, it was, you know, where I could have cut it lengthwise, but I didn't want to diamond paint this image sideways. I wanted to go, I like to go from the bottom up. Um, so, so this is the, this is what I did with it. So we're going to kit it up. Now, if you, if you get a kit like this, you certainly do not have to do what I'm doing. Um, it's already kitted up. It's already, all the numbers are here. You, you don't have to go any further. You can start diamond painting. I prefer to use a storage container. That's just me. Now, there was no inventory sheet with this, but we know that there's 35 colors, so I am going to use uh, my Harbor Freight storage containers. These are like five bucks from Harbor Freight, $4.99. We can probably get them on sale. They have 24 containers in, in here, and they're cute wall containers. Um, they hold a, a fair amount of diamonds in them. They look click there, like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use these for this particular painting. Um, and so what I will do is I I will take these Avery labels, um, and I will show you. They're they're stickers. Just take a couple of labels out. And I will number them one through 35 so that I can put them on the top of my container. Now, like I said, it's totally unnecessary if you're comfortable working out of these big old bags. Um, you know, you can take the bag and just pour out however many diamonds you want in your, um, in your diamond painting tray and go to town. But I, you know, me, I'd probably spill them everywhere all over the canvas and it'd be a big disaster and, yeah, the rest would be history. So we're going to find out how to kit up. So we're going to number this one through 35. You're thinking, oh my God, she can count. Yes, I can count. I just can't add. So you made me mess up. Oh, 24. <laughs> okay, 25. Let's see, I used the Ever Moment washi tape. So 
I'm just pretending I have an ever moment. Sorry, Albina. No, it's not an ever moment. It's a victorious moon. Just kidding. 26. See, this is what happens when you're on a no-buy. You get to watch these um, extraneous videos, I, I could say, what you call them. Okay, so let's go to the legend, which, of course, it's over here. There was only one legend on this canvas. Um, just an FYI, Albino, on some of these larger canvases, you might want to put a legend on either side of the canvas, especially if you're not going to give us an inventory sheet. You know me and my inventory sheets, man. I love my inventory sheets. Yeah. So, all right. Um, let's just tuck it in here. And, all right, so now we can see the legend. Number one is color 154. Let's, let's find number one. Let's see if we can just kind of maybe put them in order. That's number three, because it's 310. That's gonna be 30. 28. Okay, I'm going to pause. I will put everything in order so I don't bore you to death, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're in business. I got them all lined up. Here's number one. So what we're going to do, and listen, guys, have at it. If you want to try out of the bags, go right ahead. If that works for you, then you you got it. You got yourself kitted up. Not every kit comes this way. So just pretend it didn't come this way. Let's say that, okay? It didn't come like this. So we're going to find number one or whatever DMC number corresponds to number one because a lot of times the bags will only have the DMC number on it. So you're going to have to look and see what DMC number goes with number one. Because when I do a diamond painting, I'm just going to look for the symbol. I mean, ideally, you know, like Diamond Art Club sometimes does, they're going to give me a sticker and then, or I could take a photograph of the legend and make my own sticker. Um, we have ways to do that. But for now, I'm going to put number one on here. And then while I'm diamond painting, I'm going to have to be looking at this symbol because I'm not going to write the symbol on all these things. Some people do because, I mean, I, I prefer to just go and pick out the symbol. But what I'll do is I'll get to my starting place. I'll see what the predominant symbol is there. I'll look at my legend and then I'll grab the container that I need for that symbol. So what did I do with number one? Okay, number one was that interesting color I said. It was kind of a maroony purple. I think it's a very cool color. So let's put that in here. It's nothing scientific about it. You just pour them in. Man, these drills look really sparkly and nice. I'm not seeing a lot of tabs. Um, maybe a few that have, that are not flat on the bottom. They have a look, maybe a little curvature, but that's not all of them, so hopefully that is going to work out in our favor. So we're just going to put that into our box here. And that way, you've got them all in one box or two. This is going to be two boxes here that you can take wherever you're going to be diamond painting. Because you may not be always in the same place. I'm not. I sometimes I'm in my bed. Sometimes I am. In my living room, sometimes I'm in my craft room. More often than not these days, you will find me in my craft room. So number two is this gray. We're going to put number two in here. And we'll put that next to number one. Actually, I'm, I'm going to put them this way, but I'm going to put them in order. And if you want, if you go and buy a Harbor Freight and you want to put the... the the little sticker somewhere else on the box. I put it on the top. Maybe you want to put it on the side and then stack them on the side. That might be easier than what I'm doing, but this works for me. So we'll just put that on the top. 
Now, number three, that's our 310. We know that not all of that is going to go into this little thing. So we're just going to pour out enough to fill it up. As we know, we've got a lot of work to do with 310. So we're just going to fill this up. That's enough for now. And then in one of these two boxes, we're going to have room for extra drills. So those are going to be our extras for now. And this is what, like when you get 310s all in one bag, that's great. But some of the kits that you're going to get, you're going to get multiple bags of 310 or maybe some other color. Um, so then you may only want to put one or two of those, you know, cut one or two of those bags open, put them into your container, and then just put the rest aside until you need them. So, okay. Four, and I'm sorry if this is so instructional for all you veterans out there. If you're a veteran, thank you for watching. Oh, look, strays. These are 310 strays. Oh, my goodness. See, they escaped the bag. This is why I don't do two bags. Okay, they escaped. Let's put them back. Go back to your home. Not that I would ever run out of 310. <laughs> okay, well, that one, that one's gone. Okay, you lost one. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put those aside. Three. What's three? Did we already do three? We did. Okay, four is dark green. Four is green. And you're saying, we're back at this. Looks like an incredible waste of time. No, some people find this very relaxing. I like to look at my colors. Um, I like talking to the camera, talking to my subscribers and if you're sitting there saying hmm what should I do now you could hit the like button while you're while we're kidding this up or you could subscribe or you could leave me a comment I'd like to read my comments okay that's number five which is a darker gray I think this is going to be the box, this box. But you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Oh, look, see? I'm stacking them in the Harbor Freight box. Well, let me put them where you can see them. There they go. Um, yeah, this is going to be the box with all the boring colors, <laughs> I think. So I'm assuming that you guys are having a great week. It is almost at an end and then everybody's lives you know friday night is miss crochet and coffee thursday night is wolf pack diamond that's tonight so saturday night is me rebecca diamond painting beginner's journey and jeremy um unless he's out hunting you know if he's out hunting um you may not find him on a saturday night but there are lots of other lives to choose from on the weekends. Oh, God, I love that purple, don't you? Ooh, that is a pretty color. Can you see that? Let me just put that down here. Look how pretty and sparkly that purple is. Ooh, that is my one of my new favorite colors. Not, I can't, I can't say that it's as good as pink, but it's up there. Okay, we got to go to the next row. Next row. Okay, now we're getting into the oranges. So that was seven. Now we're going to do eight. So really, this is part of the process of diamond painting. Um, kitting up, kitting down is, is what it's referred to. Kitting up is where you're putting it into the storage containers. Kitting down is where you're taking it out of the storage containers. And... Um, some people do like to save it by DMC number. If you've got some, some of these oranges left, you may want to put them in a, back into a little baggie like this and save them somewhere in case you need, ever need them somewhere. So um, in kitting down, or you can just take, some people take a jar or a cup that's, you know, a glass jar, and they just put their diamonds in it and, you know, 
three, four diamond paintings later, you've got a pretty mosaic in your jar of colors. Um, that's what some people like to do with them. I asked one time, what do people do with their leftover diamonds? And I got a lot of interesting answers, but a lot of people do save them. They'll kit it down and they'll save them. I have a jar, a glass jar that I put the diamonds in after I have finished a kit where I've not been given DMC numbers. And some kits are like that. You know, your CES deals are not going to come with, um, sorry, I'm drawing that out. Your CES deals are not going to come with DMC numbers. So when I'm done with my little CES deal painting, I throw those diamonds in a jar and they, and it looks kind of cool. I'll have to remember to show, show off my jar of diamonds one day. It's getting, it's getting filled up. <laughs> okay, we're on number 10, which is a kind of a mustard color. So who thinks my dog looks like this picture? Did you guys see the resemblance? I just opened that up because there were more diamonds in the package. Now they're everywhere. I just made a mess. Okay, let's, let's get all the strays here. Put them back in the package. Come on, let's go. Back in the package. You go, come on. Here, just scoop them up. Yeah, that's easier. Back you go. There we go. You're back into the package. All right. Now, what's the next number? 11. 11. So, there. I will do another video on the different storage containers. This is just one type of storage container that you could choose from. Right now, my favorite is the Darice containers. Um that you can get on Amazon. But these come from Harbor Freight. I actually have a Harbor Freight on the way home from work. So I have the ability to stop there and, and purchase these. Um, I think I, the last time I was there, I bought four of them. Because I, I mean, they're only five bucks each. If you're going to invest in a Darius container, you're going to spend quite a bit more money, but I think it's worth the investment if you're going to keep diamond painting. So that's that's just my suggestion. But there there are even others out there. So I will do a video on the different ones that that I know of so far because I've tried out quite a few. All right, next. Just be glad that there are not 45 colors or 48 colors and no inventory sheet. <laughs> no, I will never let that go. I did get a diamond painting recently, 48 colors, no inventory sheet. But like I said, I, I know how to make my own stickers, but that's another video. Nobody wants to watch me play with the Zyron sticker maker because it is not pretty. Okay. In fact, it's sitting behind me in pieces because I need to replace the cartridge and <laughs> frankly, I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> so I took it apart and now it's apart. So one of these uh, days soon, I'm going to have to put it back together. Ooh, this is a pretty blue. Let me show you this. This is $7.96. Look at that pretty blue. Now, I don't know if you can see the dents that some of these have on the bottom. Some of them are flat. Some of them are, have that little curve. So I hope that I'm not going to have a popping drill situation here. Um, that's never fun. And, and what that means for, for the newer people out there is that you put your drills down and as, you, as, you, as your camera starts to fill up, some of them will pop up. And it's really more prevalent in squares than rounds, but it does occur in rounds as well. And then you're having to either replace 
the drill with one that will that may be flatter and not have that curvature or um, just seal it when you get done with it. You know, you don't have to seal every painting, but if you've got popping drills, you may want to consider having to seal that painting when you get done. Or, or even keep it behind glass. Oh, pink, we're in the pinks. Oh, someone's calling me. Okay. You recognize that's that song? Yeah, Lady Gaga. And Bradley Cooper. Yep, that's her song. What's the name of that song? Tell me something, boy. Yeah, that's it. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Okay, that's, I don't, I'm not a singer. <laughs> but I love that song. The movie's good too. Stars Born. I mean, it's a remake, but I enjoyed it. I cry at the end. Yes, my sister wants me to call her back. I will call her back. Okay, we are all, we're almost more than halfway through. We're at the halfway point. Okay, 17. Yes. Now we're into the forest green. Look at that forest green. Yeah. Luckily, there's not too much of that. I want these colors to pop. I really do. I want it's gonna be a colorful painting. I want to be able to get it done in time for Christmas for a family member who actually has the mommy and the daddy to Tootsie. And they don't diamond paint, so they're not going to see this video. Um, yeah. So, dog lovers. And they just happen to have the dogs that look just like Tootsie. Especially, the, um, Tootsie's got her mommy's face. Her daddy's a bull mastiff, so she has her daddy's coloring, but not not his face. And oh, thank God she doesn't slobber like her father. Oh, man. He needs like a handkerchief tied around his neck or something. It's pretty gross. I like this color, too. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of... Yeah, hold on. It's kind of purplish. But not really. I don't know. What, what, color, what do we call that? Maroon? I don't know. Curious where that is in the painting. So I think what I'm going to do with this painting is time lapse it. Oh, I have another idea. I might pick a night and read a story while I'm doing this painting. Um, someone else does it. I think it's such a cool idea. And I'm so mesmerized by her voice and the story. Um, so I'm going to have to pick a good story. If you guys have a good book you think I should read, you want to put that in the comments? I'm open to suggestions. Okay. Be like, have an audible, but not have an audible. And well, well and you can watch me down and paint while you're listening to the music, to the book. I think that would be fun. It, and it is fun for when I find somebody else that does it. We, you know, doing a little story time. So. What else is going on while we're doing this? Okay, we're, we're almost there. We're on 21. So if you are new to diamond painting, I am so glad that you found my channel um, and this community. Because I'm only just one of many YouTubers in this community. Um, but we all support each other. You know, I I go listen to everybody else's YouTubes and they listen to mine and it's um it's a fun community, it really is. And I think you'll have a lot of fun getting to know everybody. So, oh, pretty green. Let me show you that one before I put that one in the kit. Yeah, I like it. This is gonna be an awesome painting. If you did not see what it is going to be. I want to get it all kitted up. I'll, I'll show you the image again. All right, we're on 24. I'm making a mess. 
Now we have a 23. 23, come over here, 23. These containers are incredibly easy to get in and out of, and they don't open up, um, you know, if you happen to drop the container. I don't think you're in any danger of that opening up. At least I hope not. I mean, I don't have any toddlers running around, so I'm not going to guarantee them against a, a toddler but or a small child. Oh, my God, I saw one lady. Oh, her child got into her diamond painting storage kit, and I felt so bad. Everything was all mixed up. Oh, I felt horrible for her. Now, I don't know if we're going to get all of these into the container, and we are. Oh, look at that. Yay. That was a pretty big bag of diamonds and a real pretty color. Okay, so this container, that's container number one of two. And then we got our other container here. So let's just take these out. And we're gonna put this in here. Here are leftover three tons. Think any of the well, the whites. We're gonna have leftover whites, so just I think it's just gonna be the three tens and the fifty-two hundreds. So, okay, we're on twenty-five. My age, yes, I am twenty-five. A few times over, but who's counting? Okay, right? twenty-five. Okay, there we go, twenty-five. Oh, so exciting. I have a handmade diamond painting pin coming. Wait till you guys see it. Three guesses what color it is. And I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to watch the kit, the video when I do the unboxing of that pen. And the cool thing about those handmade diamond painting pens, no two are alike. So nobody else will have the pen that I get which is, I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So this is going to be the container with the cool colors because the pinks are going to be in here. <laughs> okay. 27, 28, 29. You really do want to pay attention when you're doing this. The other day, and I'm so embarrassed to admit this, but I mixed up 3371 and 3771. And I put... One was number 25, and I think the other one was 33 or something. But I put, so I put the sticker, the sticker had all the, they were like these. They were really nice stickers. So it had all the numbers on it. So I put it on the container, and I picked up the container thinking it was 3371, and I poured the 3771 into that container. And then when I picked up the 3771 container, I poured the 3371 into that container. So then when I go to do the kit, I'm looking at the symbol and I pull out my little container, my 3371 container that matches that symbol. And there's like 50 diamonds in there. And I'm like, well, how is that going to work? Because that symbol goes across the entire canvas. I'm talking about a 70 centimeter canvas. Um, so I was like panicking. I'm like, what? What happened here? So... Long story short, I I did eventually realize what I had done. I because I I started looking at the actual photo of the the image and realizing that that diamond should be a dark brown and not a peachy color. <laughs> so I was able to uh, figure out that those two colors had been reversed. Um, but it, it kept me from diamond painting on that canvas until I figured, out, I figured it out. Um, so then I was able to get that canvas out and start it and wait till you see what that canvas is going to look like when it is finished. It's the one, it's the Diamond Art Club with the cherry blossoms. Oh, God, is that going to be pretty. Really pretty. You know me and my pink. Okay, you're stuck to my we are almost got this thing kitted up and we can start diamond painting. That's the exciting part of kitting up is getting done. 
So we're on 28. God, is that pretty? Oh, look how pretty. I'm spoiling it. My hands are covering it up so you don't get the full effect. Oh, let me give you the full effect of those hot pink diamonds. Gorgeous. Yep, gorgeous. Oh my God, are they pretty? Then the next one, 20, 29, is like just a lighter version. Those are really pretty too. Oh yeah. It's so funny. I like that's my favorite color, but you know, I don't have any clothes that color. I don't dress in that color. I don't decorate my house in that color, but I just love the color. Oh, I do a lot of blues in my house. But that cherry blossom with all the pink, it's it'll be out in my dining area. Okay. Okie dokie. So 29. Oh, look at those colors. Glory moly. Very nice. Okay. 30. So this is not really taking that long. We're at 30 something minutes here. So that's not that's not long to do a kidding up. Now when you got the 48 colors, um, yeah, that's that's a little lengthy. Yep. Ooh, pretty color. That's like a blue green 37.50 i don't know if you can see that color real well let's see look how pretty that is yeah it's a blue a shade of blue so we're gonna put that there we're down to the last five here all right we've got all the pinks done so now it's just some more boring colors. You have to have the boring to offset the, to make the pinks pop. <laughs> okay, if you guys have any questions, the people that are new to diamond painting and you have a question about this process, please leave it in the comments and I will answer your question. If I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does. Um, and we will get back to you. Ooh, that's a cool color. Sort of a off red. I think I put that one up to the camera already. Look at that color. That's cool. Looks orangey there, doesn't it? That it's got a lot of red in it. All right, I think I've got enough containers out there. Now, I probably would have put this in a Doris container if, if I didn't have all my Doris containers full already. I like to work on more than one diamond painting at once. Everybody knows me because they know I've got one going in every room. It's a bad habit to get into, but I get bored working on one canvas. And this canvas I am doing because I, it was given to me for free to try out for the company. So I thought what a better opportunity to teach people how to do a kidding up of their diamond painting. Now, I will tell you that if you have like an ever moment painting, you're going to have like these multiple, multiple packages of the same number. Like you may have uh, two large bags of this 3861 and three or four small bags. So when you get your ever moment, you got to really sort them out, put all of the one color, you know, in each um, section, you know, the large bags, the small bags, um, and then started putting it in, into your storage containers. Um, I don't know why they do it that way. It's, they're, they're not much fun to kit up. They take a little bit longer, but Ever Moment is a gorgeous painting. They, they do um, only squares, but uh, they're beautiful. They, they always come out very nice. 
their customs are, are nice to work with. Okay, so we're not all going to fit all these whites in here, but we'll, we'll see how many we can get in there. Okay, this, your last, your it, that's it. Okay, so we're going to, so it's just black and white. Look at there, we don't, we don't discriminate. Black and white leftovers. Everything else we managed to get into a storage container and now we have garbage. You can just toss all this into the garbage. Oh, one straggling container there. We can put our leftover labels back into our package for the next time. So now you have your diamond painting. Let me just get all this in the garbage. Keep it under my table. And now you've got your kits. So you've got everything here in front of you. You got your tool kit. You got your painting. You are ready to diamond paint now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. Um, thank Victoria Moon for providing us with the product to review, and uh, you will be seeing more of it in future videos. So have a great Thursday, and I will see you Saturday night live from 7 Central Time to 9 Central Time, where we work on the Alice in Wonderland movie. You have to see that. So tune in. I will see everybody on Saturday, and if you can't make it, then uh, have a blessed weekend. So, where's my off button? There it is. Bye.